What's going on? Vin Lee here with another exciting episode of Conan Exiles. Horses. Where are the horses? Well, I'm going to let you know where they are. That's why you clicked on the video, right? Wasn't just clickbait. I'm actually going to show you where they are. All right, let's, so let's get to it. There was an update done to console this week, and it changed the horse spawns, or foals, F-O-A-L. Foal is a baby horse. A little educational tidbit there. See, I'm both entertaining and educational. All right, now that we got that out of the way, we're just going to call them horses. So I'm going to bring up the map, and in the past, they were spawning over here in New Berber. It was easy down south to go get yourself a horse, tame them up, and uh, that's it. But now they have taken away those spawns, so now you have to find another location to get them, which doesn't hurt me too much since I'm up towards the middle of the map. I wasn't planning on going down that way anyways. So down south by New River, obviously there's not a lot to fight. Um, there is a lot to fight, but nothing too dangerous. You can pretty much uh, survive down there with stone uh, weapons. But up here where I am, uh, not so much. You can see I'm over here in the middle of the map. You have the savanna here. And uh, where you're going to find these at, if you're gridding it, is going to be in G9, which is right up here. Don't mind the gravestone over there. We had a little incident earlier with a uh, gentleman who decided to ruin my video by attacking me when my back was turned as I'm trying to do this tutorial. So now we are doing it over again and hopefully that guy does not return. Uh, so we will see. So you'll see the northern aqueduct here. So it's just a little bit to the right of that. And the path we're going to take is there's a cut through right through here, the shattered basin. There's a cut through right through here, many of you guys know. If you just go straight through, I would stay by the lake right here, right on the lake line. And you're going to come up, and right here to the left is going to be three guys. And to the right, there's going to be some wolves. Uh, but once you pass that, you know, you're relatively safe in here. As long as you stay away from the left here where uh, there's a bunch of wolves, you should be fine. And you should be able to sneak by there without aggroing either one if... Uh, you do it the right way. So we're going to hop on my horse that I already have. Make it a little bit quicker. That was pretty smooth. And we're going to ride on over there. I'm going to show you where to get these horses. And usually there's uh, three that spawn there. Um, you'll always get three. I think there might be a fourth one that spawns there. I swear I've seen four. Um, but sometimes I go over there and I only see I only see three. I don't know if that's because other players pick them up. You know, you never know. I'm on an official server, so I am playing with other players. So we're going to head through. If I can get my horse up here. There we go. As you can see, you cut through here. And this is the way you can get to the highlands. There's nothing through here that's going to hurt you. <laughs> Nothing's going to bother you too much. There is a wolf up on that ledge up there, but he is not going to bug you one bit. We're not planning on going up that way. So there's two ways. You can take a right over there or you come here to the left. I suggest going to the left because you're not going to run into anything that's going to kill you. Mm. Off to the right, you will run into some wolves. So here's the lake I was talking about. And I thought I heard there is a bear that's over this way. Let me look behind me, make sure he's not following me. Yep, you see the bear back there? Uh, he stopped, he didn't aggro him much. So up here to the left, you'll see three guys spawn in. There's two, if I go a little bit more, there should be a third one that spawns in there somewhere. All right, I think he's sitting down over there, so we're good. And then up to the right, there are some wolves. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I aggroed the wolf or not, but I'm on a horse, so I'm just going to run past everything. Yeah, it sounds like I aggro those guys, but no big deal. We're just going to run past them. They'll lose aggro. Yeah, they've already lost the aggro, nothing following us. 
All right, so here we are. That's a deer, that's not a horse. There's a horse right over here to the left. And up over that ridge over here, uh, there are some wolves, so if you're coming through there, you wanna be careful. I'll bring the map up just so you can see where I'm at. So, like I said, this is G9, right in this location. If you come up through here, there are going to be wolves, uh, so you want to be careful. So far, we found the one. There's a lot of deer up in this area, too. There's another one right up there. So that's two. These are deer. And I'm telling you that there's three. I know that for a fact. Like I said, I am playing on an official server, so it could be that somebody came up and grabbed one or two already. So you got, there's one. So it looks like there's just two here right now. So we are going to get off the horse, uh, snag one. Oh, nope, there's a third one right there. There it is. So one. Two, and then the third one was down there over in that area so yep there are three so let's uh that one's trying to make it up the hill let's go over there and grab this one and you just pick them up put them in your inventory and if you bring up your inventory you'll see that it is a swift foal f-o-a-l foal baby horse so we're going to jump back on my horse there we go we're gonna take this little guy back to the stable and put him in so as you saw there's three of them there real easy to get to um, like I said if you stay away from that area over there you're not gonna run into the wolves all you got to contend with is uh, those three guys that are over there and if you're careful enough you're not going to aggro them. I kind of charge through there on this horse. And the horse is louder, so it is going to aggro things a little bit more. But uh, we're going to go back the way we came. You see, I didn't aggro anything coming, coming back. So if you time it just right, you'll be fine. Again, playing on official server, so I do have some neighbors. And we didn't run into that guy, so that's a good thing. Because I didn't want him to ruin the video again. But there's a bear there. Uh, usually that bear is actually, usually that bear's up this way more. Usually I'll show you where that bear usually hangs out. He usually hangs out up, up in this area. I'm a little shocked he came down that far this time. So, this guy's been working on his base quite a bit. Uh, he had a lot of pets out here the other day. Some rhinos, some big cats, uh, some thralls. I don't see anything now. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure if all this stuff died or, or what, but yesterday he had a ton of stuff out there. Uh, seems like a good guy. Haven't had any issues with him. Seen him out and about and we just kind of pass past each other so let's head back I'm gonna pop this thing in this in there to tame up now these horses are a little I find it a little bit hard to control I might do a video on just the horse mechanics if you want to see a video on just the horse mechanics Go ahead and comment that below and I'll run you through the movements and the combat on the horses and all the things that you can do with them. So you can see the base is coming along pretty good. Still got a lot to do but you know slowly but surely. So we're going to get off and throw this guy in the stable. Pop him in there. 
And you can see this is what I ch I'm choosing to go with uh, for food for them. Um, not sure of the best thing to use. I know you can use just fiber, um, plant fiber, but I think this is a little bit better. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet. Still testing a lot of that stuff out. But that is it. Um, one thing to note is to be able to ride the horse, you're going to need a saddle. And in order to get the saddle, you will need to be level 20 to be able to craft a saddle. Uh, if you're not level 20, uh, you can still catch and tame a horse. Uh, you just have to level up enough to get the stable. But you won't be able to ride it yet. And uh, you're going to have to get a saddler's work table. And you can go in there and make your uh, saddle for it. This is just the normal war horse saddle light. It's the first saddle you get uh, to make the saddle. You're going to need 20 twine, 45 iron, and 50 leather. So that's what you'll need. But again, you have to be at level 20 to do that. And you hear that waterfall in the background. It gets a little distracting when you're doing videos, but when you're not doing videos, it's really nice and calm and soothing to hear. But I can understand uh, in the background, it might sound like my washing machine's going, uh, but it's not. It's just the waterfall. So, well, if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you know of any other good places to get horses and where you might see them spawning at. I know there are some in the jungle area. Uh, I haven't been out that way to see exactly where, but I know the two locations uh, were where I was at in the highlands and down uh, south in New River. But like I said, they took that spawn down south away with the new update. So if you uh, have any other good places to find them, please let us know down in the comments. And let me know down in the comments if you want to see some horse mechanics and some battling and on the horses and see some of uh, how that works. And don't forget to uh, subscribe for some more content. And uh, hit that notification so uh, you get all the notifications uh, when they happen. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you later in the next video.